Hey, hey, welcome back again. Patrick Haggerty here. Thank you for visiting. Remember to subscribe, the red button. Hit that button. Give you another lesson, a classic from the matriarch of this neo soul thing, the innovator, the pioneer, Erica Badu's window seat. You have to learn this song. It's challenging, it's fun. I'm going to get you started here. We're going to zoom on in. Remember, that if you have any requests, any messages, any suggestions, any advice, go ahead, send me a message, hit the like button, do what you have to do. You know what to do. You're not new to this. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and give you another lesson. And so that's the intro. And what we're going to do is, what you do, simple, bar all the way down, ninth fret. And then it's going to be a descending bass line. And if you listen to the track, you'll hear it go. And this is a B major 7. So you got 7, pointer finger, ring and pinky, 8, 8 on the D and G. And you put your middle finger on the seventh of the B. And then be another descending bass line. And you'll start there at the ninth fret. 9, 8, 6. And you're going to bar those all the way down. Just like you did in the intro. Then you're going to do another descending bass line. You ready for this? 7, 6, 4. And you're going to play an A major 7 here. See that? And she's like the B major 7. Same chord, but she's going to move it down some. So it's... right here you're getting ready to go into the chorus and you hear the music slow down stop get silent and then you hear the drummer signal for the verse to come in and when the verse does come in these are the chords they play they go so that first chord right there that's actually a D flat major nine. See, then you're gonna put your pink, your pointer finger, or your middle finger, sorry, fourth fret A string, pointer finger third fret D string, pinky fifth fret G string, and you're gonna put your ring right here, right on the same fret as the the middle finger, the fourth fret the B string. So it's four, three, five, four. to an A flat major seven. Remember, you already played this chord once, but I'm gonna give it to you again. Four, D, five, G, five, middle, four of the B. Then gonna slide up here. This is an E major seven. You're gonna bar this down, seventh fret all the way down. Ring finger, ninth of the D. You're going to put the middle finger, eighth of the G. Pinky, ninth of the B. And if you want to, you can add that in there. It's on the bar. That'd be on your bar. You don't have to. Some people do, some people don't. Depend on the color and the flavor you want the song. You're going to play A13. In which I play my, my thumb wrapped over. You can play it. Some people play it like this. For me, it's just easier. And I, my muscle memory now makes me play it like this. Same sound, same chords. Whatever your preference is. So you're going to put your pointer finger on the A. The fifth of the E. Middle finger, the fifth of the D. Your ring finger, sixth of the G, pinky, 
the seventh of the B. And this one, the A string, is muted. It should be muted by this pointer finger leaning over. It should be muted. Don't press it down. It should be muted. So let's go back to the beginning here. The intro. Thank you, and that's part one to this video. Um, that's just the intro and the chorus, and part two is going to be the verse. Um, just remember to subscribe, keep checking in, and just click on the part two, and you'll get the next video because it's a little different and has a little more complexity to it, so we're going to break that down in the next video, but at least you have that part down. You can start working on that, and I advise you get that down, the intro and that down before you move on to the next part. Thank you.